Hello guys, um, welcome to Matt Hobbs 91. This is your boy Matt once again. Um, today I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have a little discussion. I'm gonna like talk about a few things about what's been going on around the whole on the whole process, what's been going on around California, what's been going on like with everything, you know, between like, you know, how how the state, how around the world, how the earth especially what's been going on with the that i want to discuss a little few words few um few you know like discussion about you know about what's been going down with the scientology and the protesters being swatted these past few days and these few times these past few weeks and stuff like that um yeah you know i've been taking time off from exposing the scientology and this and that so um yeah it's like basically you know like what i've been seeing to other youtubers and posts from social media and everything like that including tiktok and this and that, is that several protesters were swatted and they were arrested and they also um got in contact with with one of my with one of my friend's family members and relatives, including their mothers and stuff like that. I don't know how the hell they got their phone number. Um, yeah, it's like, it's like basically, you know, this whole situation with the Scientology is just basically just gone out of control. Um, I'm like, I'm soon gonna go back um, going on live streaming, you know, from exposing time to Scientology soon rather than later until everything's been cool it down so everything's like calming down and all that stuff like that and what i what i think about the scientology what i you know the way how i how i express it the way how i feel about it the way in my opinion it's just like everyone else to say it's it's a it's a cult it's a complete ripoff and it's a scam you know one of those three things you should know about the scientology you know about how about how they're talking to certain people to brainwashing convincing them to join them and all that stuff and once that happens <laughs> you'll never come back right out you know it's like you basically can't escape i don't know how this works i don't even know where scientology even comes from as far as i know like basically you know like my friend cutsy um mondo well aka cutsy um it's been on like it's been like it's been like MIA a few times. I've been kind of MIA a little bit from here and there. I'm just trying to make the best of it. Um, I probably won't be doing like any live streams like anytime soon and soon because I'm soon gonna buy like a tripod to hold for my phone because I'm getting tired of holding it because my arm gets like a little tired all the time. And I'm trying to get a good quality and this and that too. I'm soon gonna get a new phone probably in the next few months, hopefully, you know, if it if it happens and stuff like that. And uh yeah, next next uh the following week, next week is my thirty-third is my birthday. I will be turning thirty-three um next week. I don't know what's gonna happen, I don't know what's gonna I don't know what they're gonna do, but I'm just hoping and praying that things can come up and what's next for me in this channel and um there's soon gonna be like there's soon gonna be some more certain different type of videos that i'll be posting um i'm still working on a few things i'm still working on some ideas that uh, you know what i've been what i've been doing what i've been trying to do you know like you know still continuing to do what i love doing which is like you know going around meeting celebrities and you know like interacting with them, you know, seeing them live, seeing them in person live and, you know, and taking photos with them and recording them and, you know, just say like, just to say, just to use pep talk on the celebrities as like I said in the other video. So, yeah. And, and top it all up and above, you know, besides the point, you know, this whole situation with the Scientology is just like, it's just basically, you know, like, like, I don't know how, I don't know what. And I don't know when or how or basically how do they get one of their um, their phone numbers from one of their relatives or one of their moms from any protesters. I don't know how the hell did they fucking even like, sorry, excuse my language. I don't know how the hell did they even like find out like, you know, like how the hell did they even get their number, you know? 
It's like what I just saw my friend Cutsy's video post about, you know, about how he was upset, how they contact his mother. And I don't know how they got, got in, you know, I don't even know how the hell they got their mom's phone number, his mom's phone number. Um, like basically, like, I don't know what they're saying to their, to his mother. And then, yeah, and then that basically upset, you know, him off. They like basically ticked him off. And then it's been doing that to everybody. Like, like a lot of fucking, like, you know, a lot of like protests, family members and relatives or even parents are getting phone calls from the undercover from the Scientology and this and that. It's like, you don't know what's going on inside that building. You don't know what the hell is like, you know, what, what is like, how these people are getting like, getting treated like slaves and getting paid cheap and live rent free. It's like, basically they won't let you go out and all that type of shit. It's like, why, like, why is, why is, like, why is this happening? You know, why is like, why all this with the protesters and the Scientology from the people that works in the Scientology? It's like, basically, you know, like twice they try to talk me into it by joining them, but it backfired, you know, like I knew what they were trying to do. I knew what they were trying to talk me into it. And then luckily I found a way to fucking like, to make a lie to say a lot of wrong things and say a lot of bunch of stuff just to avoid them. And then basically they haven't called me, you know, when I didn't even know what it was the first time, you know, they did call me, but I didn't like answer. I blocked them and all that stuff like that. Just to lie to them, just to pretend like, oh yeah, I know everything about the fucking Scientology and all that type of crap. Just to, just to avoid freaking like, just to avoid them and talk them into it. Like there is no way in hell, like not once, but twice they tried to talk me into it into by joining them by trying to just like just to rip off just like convince me to buy a book and i'm like screw this like what the hell is this freaking like high school it's like it's like going back feeling like i'm in high school days you know what i mean you know it's like like what gives what other people would love to like just to join the scientology without like trying to do the research and trying to find out what's the information about the scientology like, basically, the people that work there are not even going to tell you what's what, how it is. They're basically going to tell you some different types of what other they know about the Scientology, you know, like that. You know, something like that. It's like people, you know, when people are trying to escape, we're just trying to help people, trying to convince people not to join the Scientology because it's a complete rip-off scam cult. If, you, if I can add all these three words, it's just one word in the sentence, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, it's like... I just don't understand, yet. like, like ever since when I started exposing Scientology with this channel, posting on there on my live stream and this and that, it's like when I went to La Pabelle with Cutsy and the other protesters like Jessica and Streets LA and DOA and fucking Hollywood Aja and, uh, and Solomon and all those type of stuff. It's like, it's like basically, you know, these Scientology people. Like, I'll give credit when credit is due. They are pretty smart. They are know the way. And they basically find other ways to try to mess with the protesters. Try to copyright our channel. To try to freaking like, trying to cut cut off our live stream and all that stuff. Basically, they're just trying to ruin people's YouTube channel. By trying to make them, by trying to copyright music. And just try to freaking not be live stream, you know, like get kicked out of live stream if I keep doing copyright and all that kinds of crap. But damn, they did have some, they did, they did a tremendous job by doing that because they have all that power, all that money, you know, just to try to avoid it, to fix it. Because sooner or later, I always say, and I know it will happen, that sooner or later, all the protesters, including myself, will find other ways to get back right back at them just to do whatever it takes to make sure that the, that the Church of Scientology will be history for good, you know? So, and, and a top of all love, and above all that, you know, like, basically, you know, I'm just going to hope and pray for the protesters who still go to the blue building. Just be careful, you know, watch, keep a lookout, make sure there's no any, like, fake-ass people walking around. You never know. They could be in the Scientology or not the Scientology, you just can't trust nobody, you know? Like, basically, I, you know, I've been going to the Blue Building these past number of few times and stuff like that, and, um, 
me and my friend Cutsy uh, and my friend Paul, we were supposed to uh, go to the Lapa Bell restaurant. But basically, you know, that, that I was supposed to go live stream on that day. But basically, it got, it got, you know, like, it got canceled. Like, I, I had to postpone because my, you know, because of what I just said er earlier, that my friend Cutsy, um, his mom got called from the undercover Scientology. I just don't know how the hell that they got their number, her, her, his mom's number. So, it's just so weird. Like, I'm, shit, I'm surprised I haven't even got SWAT. I'm surprised I haven't even got any phone calls and all this type of shit. Like, basically, they're not going to even know who I am. They basically know the other protesters and all that stuff like that. But to be honest, dude, I just can't, like, I just can't stand the fact that how wise old people are just, like, very under toxic when they, when they start telling me things that I already know that I shouldn't, that, that I don't even, that I, that I shouldn't even want to hear. That like I've already know what's this and I already know what's that. It's like basically it's like, you know, like like how should I say it here? How should I say it? Hmm. Basically, you know, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, I don't wanna like, you know, like say anything harsh about that because we all know like these Scientology crap people, how should I call it? Like, they'll always find a way to get the cops involved, to make false accusations. Like, for example, there is a mystery person who's basically undercover with the Scientology and freaking getting, like, you know, getting scam calls, you know, like making fucking scam calls under their own, under their fake numbers or whichever, they're, whichever way they're trying to find a way just to try to freaking, like, Instead of calling them, the protesters, they got to freaking call their parents and their family members involved into this shit. Wow. That's basically a fucking life ruiner. Like, basically, you know, like, these Scientology people are just trying to find a way to, to scare us, to screw us over with our live stream and our channel. Basically, you know, we, I think everybody, half of these people and any other protesters in the YouTube and any YouTubers basically know what's in that blue building of the sign of the church of scientology you know what i mean so basically you know i just don't know how to express it and how to um to revolve it it's like yeah i just don't get it but sooner or later um sooner or later probably the next few weeks or the next few months me and cutsy will be back um exposing scientology it's gonna take a little time to, you know, to do whatever. Well, right now, like, I was in a live stream out of nowhere. It was just like, you know, it was just like, you know, at the last minute, I, I've been to go on live stream. Like, I've been, like, going live stream with the other protesters of the Free Palace site and the Israel issue been going on with the Palace site, you know, wandering around the whole entire downtown LA area, including Hollywood, too. Like, the other, like, the other day, I was in Hollywood, and I happened to see all the protesters from Free Palisade across the street. And um, basically, you know, like, I don't freaking join them, you know? I wasn't even in joining them. I was just like, basically just like whatever's with it. Cause that's how I am. I'm just like cool with everybody, like talking with everybody, you know, being chill with, being calm with everybody. I don't like being a dick to source people. I'm not gonna start shit with other people that, that has nothing to do with me, you know? I just don't care about what other protesters and what other protesting and what other freaking like from the free palace site all that stuff like that you know i'm just here just to go around wandering around just go on live stream just you know just to see a good show and see whatever type and post whatever what i see you know what other people usually see it's just like it's real coming handy you know it's real coming handy so basically you know like like yeah it's like what other things have been going on, you know, like the time, you know, when there's like other free Palestine protesters and, you know, that that usually go to the USCLA building or the Westwood or sometimes around downtown, you know, patrolling the whole entire area of the, the front of the courthouse or any type of stuff. It's like basically you'll see me, you'll see Cutsy, you'll see either Streets LA or Jessica or any other type of protesters that are trying to expose from Scientology, you know. Like for example, I will be going live stream pretty soon, but not just because of the science, not not because of the blue building to expose the Scientology, but 
like basically going other certain places like Malibu, Calabasas. I'll be I'll be doing live stream there when I go over there. Hopefully, I'll probably go to. I'm planning on like going to San Bernardino Valley or any type of certain areas. I would like to prefer just to um just to do live streams there or take photos here, take my camera there too. Doing other stuff, trying to um trying to express myself, trying to like you know release you know revolve and all that stuff like release all the stress stress get your mind off stuff and this and that so um yeah again you know like again so um you know um me and cutsy will be back um but we're probably going to be doing something different like you know going to movie premieres with the celebrities and all that type of stuff and um basketball season's coming up and other type of events are coming up too i don't know what other like you know, what other type of events, like the LA Comic Con's coming up, um, Survivor Series might come to LA, you know, at the Clipper Stadium, and even WrestleMania will be going, will be coming to Las Vegas next year, hopefully if I go, if, you know, if I know how to travel my own terms, but yeah, so don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment, give out your opinion, what you think about this video, what I'm what I'm basically saying and explaining about how Scientology is, about the Church of Scientology. Like, basically, this, they just put that Scientology building right there nearby Hollywood Boulevard, basically out of business, you know. They're just doing, like, online stuff, like, reservation, like, to other people inside the building. I literally just checked out inside the building not too long ago. It's like, looks pretty, looks basically dead. So these protesters did a fantastic good job by talking to people not to join into those type of Scientology ripoff scam bullshit crap, I usually call it. It's like, you know, like, I don't like to say anything harsh to them. I don't like to fucking like, cuss them out or anything like that because I know they'll find a way to fucking call the cops because some Scientology people can't handle the truth, you know? Like, even the owner from the La Fabelle, the owner of the restaurant who supports the rapist, with Danny Master doing 30 years to life in prison, you know? And he's from the Church of Scientology, you know? Not only that, Tom Cruise is a part of the Church of Scientology, you know? Like, I did not expect that was going to happen. It's like other people, like, I've met a few people that, that escaped from Scientology, you know? So one of their family members are still in Scientology that they don't even know what, they don't even know if they're still, you know, if they're still in there or if they escape. It's just so much of humanity and a cause of chaos, you know, it's like, it was out of control, you know, like, I, um, I saw a few protesters were going to, going to court this type of, in this time, around this time, just to try to find out and see what's been, what's going to happen, what's next, because, like, there were two protesters that just got swatted by the cops, by the Scientology, I don't know who's doing all these balls accusations, trying to do anonymous calls and trying to like, I don't even know how they got their numbers. I'm surprised they haven't called me, you know? You know, like, but these Scientology people are real fucking smart. They have all the ideas. They have all the plans. They have all the backup plans just to try to go against us. But basically, they cannot go against me because I can, I can basically get away, get away with all this shit. But the way was telling my opinion, telling my truths, especially with those dumbass cops are just basically coming in and out from the Scientology building. And then basically they don't even do nothing like they don't even do their job. They don't even do shit. It's like, like, basically, what about our safety? What about people like me and other innocent people trying to protect ourselves by carrying weapons and fucking carrying protection? Hey. You need a pepper spray or a taste gun or any type of weapons to protect yourself because there's a lot of crazy, crazy people stabbing, killing innocent people, kidnapping, and these dumbass cops don't even do nothing, you know? Also, basically, I'm going to get arrested. I'm going to get in trouble for standing up to myself, for, for protecting myself and other innocent people. I'm going to get arrested for holding a pepper spray, just, you know, just protecting yourself. What about for me? What about for what about for my safety? What about for them? Oh, but it's okay to carry knives, guns, and other type of shit. Like basically, you know, carrying a needle and and injecting them with mixed drugs and overdose and getting killed. 
Wow. It's just like, yeah. I don't know how these dumbass pigs cops are so unreliable and so insecure and so freaking like so overwhelmed by not doing their job, you know? And what's the whole fact and what's the whole point of people always say, oh, if you talk crap to a cop, they're going to arrest you. Come on. They can't arrest people just because a person cuss out a cop and say F the cops and you don't do your job. Basically, it's true because I guess all cops knows that people hate cops, you know? All cops know that, you know, like, they've been called a lot of names. They've been called dickhead, pigs, and all type of stuff. Like, all that stuff and shit, which is true. Because the reason why they want to arrest and harass people like us, because cops can't handle the truth, okay? Who knows? One of these cops are basically getting paid, getting money from the Church of Scientology, you know, just to try to get rid of us and try to swat each and every one of us. But technically, that ain't going to happen to me. That ain't going to happen to Cutsy. Ain't going to happen to each and every one of, of those protesters. But sooner or later, they think that they can get away with it. They think that they can win. Nah, it's not going to happen. Because I know, these, I know one of these protesters will always have ways to come back and to keep on exposing and to keep on freaking filming in public and recording people. You know, like stuff like that, just to try to do whatever it takes to make sure the Church of Scientology will be complete history for good. Especially the La Fabelle restaurant where the owner supports the rapists and all that stuff like that. As you, I don't know if you saw my my live stream videos or if you check out my shorts or my clips or anything like anything like that. So yeah, so I just wanted, to, yeah, I just wanted to take this time, just wanted to, you know to post this video and explain what I've been doing. These pads, I'm just trying to like, you know, work on some ideas, work on myself, trying to get everything, you know, high level and stuff like that. Hustling here and there, doing whatever it takes and still trying to survive in this world. But just trying to like look forward to the future, trying to make sure everything can go well with everything like that, with the money issues. I just hope next year or Whoever's the president, whoever takes over, I just want somebody to like make all this great again and lower down the price for a little bit so other people like me can live happy in peace with no trouble going on. Because there's a lot of crazy stuff going on around here. And just for example, you know, like these cops can't, you know, these cops don't even do their job. They don't even like chase real criminals, but they got to harass people like us. Yeah. And I'm just saying it because I tell it like it is. I'm a straightforward person. And you know, like I said, you know, I say what's right and what's right. And I speak my mind. I don't give a damn what if they don't like it or not. Oh, but it's okay for other people to tell me stuff and I don't like it. But when I tell them back at them, right away, they, they just try to act like the innocent victim, trying to avoid the right answer, avoid the truth, to make excuses, just to put that on me so they can be right. And I keep saying to every, everybody, not everyone in this world is always right. Because what if the truth comes out wrong and you're basically going to have no choice but to say, but to admit you're wrong. I was wrong. Not that many old wise old people don't admit that because they always want to be right. So yeah, so I can, be, I can be as toxic as much as anybody else can be toxic for no reason. But I have reasons to be toxic to other toxic people, you know? So yeah. What, whichever of these people from the Church of Scientology want to insult one of us, to attack us and shit, trying to snatch our camera out of our hands, basically it's going to come back to haunt him when karma gets back at them What their actions will always have a way of coming back to them. So, yeah. So, all right, well, I'm about to wrap this up in a little bit. Um, again, this is Matt Hobbs 91 um, Feel free to check out my other videos and my other live streams and my shorts. And then um, I'm soon going to be starting a podcast pretty soon. I just don't know when, but it's just like I need to know how to start and what other ideas I can prefer and talk about other stuff. And yeah, hopefully. So hopefully if you want, you can check out this video, leave a comment, leave out your opinion and, um, you know, check out my, you know, Check out my other friends' video, like Cutsy, and big shout out to Cutsy, and to Jesse Lunchbox, to James Starr, to Paul, 
and um, to my boy Chris and my personal favorite who I would love to give a video shout out to is um, MCKG make sure you um, I would like you know I would say like M channel like basically you know it's a uh, it's like a planet name or like her name starts with an M and um, hopefully you um, check out her video subscribe and like and you know try to you know try to give her try to like to me I like give I like hooking up with people with you know with more followers on their YouTube channel you know like that like that and you know if you would like hopefully you can get people to watch my channel I would really gladly appreciate it and thank you for all for all support and hopefully I'll be ho hopefully I, I I get the chance to get more followers and more subscribers and I'll probably continue to be doing more live stream but I'm gonna have to wait on that because I gotta I really gotta get a Gibbler stick and my birthday's coming up next week I'll probably just be doing some more I'm gonna try to find a way to post more videos and um Again, I would like to thank you for this time and make sure you check out Matt Hobbs 91. And like I said, you know, so feel free to, if you want, you can hit the subscribe button. And um, if you want, you can check out my Instagram and stuff like that. And my Facebook, Snapchat, you know, posting pictures with celebrities and interacting with them. And it feels good. It feels fun, you know. And also um, give out big thanks to everyone who, you know, who subscribed me and um, hopefully I can get back to you guys. So, yeah, again, so this is Bad Hob 91. I'm about to wrap this up right now. I hope you to hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have a, today's Monday. Happy Monday. And um, hope to see you. Hope to hear from you guys. Um, hope to get more subscribers. If you want, you can check out my videos. Or, you know, you can want, you can, you can still hit the subscribe button if you like. So, yeah. So, once again, this is Matt Hops 91 signing off. Hope you have a blessed day. Enjoy your week. I'll be seeing you. I'll be posting more videos. So, stay tuned. Feel free. And, um, I'll be, I'll get back in touch with Cutsy pretty soon. So, um, again, just check out the information about the Scientology. So, just... Hope you learn more not to join that. Hope, Hopefully, you know, hopefully I'm praying that all this will be okay. Hopefully the protest is willing to be okay because basically they're going to win the case. And um, like I said, check out more information about the Scientology. It's everything is a complete ripoff. You just can't trust nobody. So, yeah, um, I'm going to wrap this up once again. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is Matt Hobbs 91 signing off. Hope you have a blessed day and I will post this video pretty soon and more and more videos and I'll be working on other ideas about this channel, the post videos on this channel. So I'll see you soon. Peace.